believe that had it not been for the church, we wouldn't have received even the freedom that we have today. Mm. Even apartheid and colonization will still be alive and pervasive in most of the African countries, not just in South Africa, but all over Africa. You will still be heavy because the white hegemony, the colonialist, uh, the proponents of apartheid and all that had no interest in the education of a black child. They had no interest of the freedom. Black people could not be freed because it was believed they don't know what to do with freedom. So they always have to be under the control of white people. It took those village Methodist churches set up by ordinary missionaries, naive as they might have been in terms of trying to understand and appreciate African culture, oblivious of the religiosity of African people and what African people brought into the table in terms of, of religion. But in the midst of those weaknesses, it took those ordinary, some of them forgotten um, missionaries who lost their wives, lost their children through malaria and all that. And, and, and some of them died without even being noticed either by their sending churches uh, and, and by the conference here. They died and got buried. We don't even know where they were buried, some of them, but they started schools mm. in those little village churches where they educated bright black boys and black girls who grew up and emerged to be the Nelson Mandela's that we have today. They grew up to be the Sifago Machatos that we had who became the second president of the ANC when it was founded in 1912. They groomed the Mkobolis of this world. They groomed the Reverend Pito of this world, the Thomas Mapigela, who grew up to become the first black teachers, first black nurses, first black lawyers, first black politicians, who then took the issue of black people and put it into language that this is the experience of oppression of our people. We too believe that we deserve freedom in the land of our fathers. They would not have done that had they not been educated in those mission schools because there was no government that was interested in the education of black people. It is those churches those small churches in those little villages with, built by some of those insignificant missionaries who came here, some of them, because they had nothing else to do. They were, they were even useless in their home countries. They couldn't be given a church. They couldn't even be employed. They were just uh, the, the settlers that should just go to Africa. But they devoted their lives and did this. And today, we are where we are because then your Nelson Mandela's were made through those schools. Our leaders, your Winnie Mandela's, your Robert Sobuwe, your all those, a list goes on and on that you have. And then it has brought our people to where we are. But where are we coming from? From those insignificant village and rural Methodist churches. For those churches and those who went before us, we shall forever be grateful if we are humble enough to know what has brought us here. For God used those people to bring us to where we are today. Thank you.